Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a mail call. I got several packages in the mail just a few minutes ago. Two Walmart packages, my Hot Topic package, and a package I bought off of eBay. So let's go ahead and get started and open them up and see what we got. Um, go ahead and do the Hot Topic one since I got the big box yesterday. This should be my Gwenpool, if I'm not mistaken. my Gwyn Pool, my 2017 summer exclusive that I've been looking for. I think I found one at the Hot Topic near me, but it was at the very top shelf where I cannot reach and I'm not going to get somebody else to get it down for me, so ordered it offline. Yes, or the, I think it was last week I said, yeah, last week with my buy to get one free and I believe that was my free one. I believe. I don't know, I had a bunch of free ones, obviously, but it's hard to tell which one was my free one. But next will be the eBay purchase. And of course, these are all pops. It's hard to link some of my eBay buyers from, or sellers, um, unless I know that I've bought from them before. But if you are interested in checking on this particular buyer or seller's, excuse me, I'm the buyer, they're the seller, seller's account, I will link them in the description box below. And they wrap it with newspaper. But I've got the Evil Dead, or the Shaun of the Dead, um, Ed, the zombie Ed. And let's go ahead and pop him out of the box. So now I have two, but one is going to somebody else as a trade-off. And I won't tell you who, you just gotta make sure you tune in and when I get my trade box, I will link their um, channel below. But there is Zombie Ed looking awesome. I like him, he's cute. He'll go with all of Ben's pops, which are up there behind me. All right, now, fingers crossed that these two next boxes are in great condition because I have an idea for two of these pops. Or I have an idea in my brain for two of these pops. But I don't know what I'm gonna do yet or how I'm gonna do it. There we go. Now, I had help on these, on both of these actually. Um, Half Geek actually helped me get the Monopoly guy, Mr. Monopoly. He linked me on Instagram the link for when he went live and it took me, I think several, several tries before I was able to get him. But both boxes are in great condition. I got two of them. up Mr. Monopoly here. I love the iconic. Well, this one's titled Board Games, but I'm just going to go with icons because I love the icons. He's in good condition. It doesn't look like there's any paint smeared anywhere, which is really, really good considering. But there is Mr. Monopoly. don't know where I'm going to put him quite yet. Now I'm really, really going to have to reorganize. Get in there. A lot of stuff now. Alright, and then this one. Also, Half Geek helped me with. I don't want to cut that too deep. And 
I was able to get this one on the first try. I didn't have to wait forever. But I got this one on the first try. And I got two Stan Lees from Guardians of the Galaxy. And I like him. And we'll get to that here in a minute. But this is what the boxes look like. Both of them in really good condition. So whoever Walmart hires to pack these, bravo. I've seen some pretty crappy boxes here lately. Alright, now. Let's get Mr. Stan open. And the reason why I like him, well, I hate the bobblehead part. But apparently someone does not know how to paint at Funko. We're going to open up the other one also and compare the two. Let's see. They're both similar. Well, they're both the same, obviously. But on this one here, if you look, there are some, there's some gold paint right up here above the glasses. And then this part right here looks like it was glued on. And tried to have been painted over. I'm not for sure. I, I don't know what the deal was with that. Huh. I don't like the fact that he's a bobblehead. I really just don't. But that's Marvel. Other than those two spots. And maybe a little bit on the other sides of the side of the glasses. He doesn't look half bad. He definitely does not want to stand up because of the bobblehead. But let's look at the other one. And the other one, it looks like there's some gray from the shirt on his jacket, which kind of sucks. I mean, when I buy these, I really, this is why I like buying them in person so I can see what they look like as far as paint goes. But other than that, he doesn't look too bad. There's definitely a paint smudge there of gold. And I get that they're they're not going to be perfect as far as paint goes, but they need to be. I mean, I get that some paint runs, but when you have gold on a face right in the middle of the forehead and stuff like that, I mean, right here in the back you can't see it, but there's a bit of the, the uh, base plastic that didn't get covered up all the way, but other than that, they're really good pops, and I like these because I like the glasses on them. I like the little uh, magnifier. That's the whole reason why I bought these is because they are very cool pops. They're awesome. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite pop was out of this one. I'm pretty sure it's everybody's going to be staying or the Monopoly Man. Um... But let me know what you think in the comment section below. What was your favorite? Um, do you like ordering pops offline when they first come out? Or do you like actually going to the stores, waiting in line to see? That way you can actually take a look at the pops. Me, personally, I don't like waiting in line to take a look at pops. But after the hype runs down, I do like taking a look at them in person if I can find them to make sure I've got the good paint jobs or because I mean some of the paint does run my R2D2 because it's blue and white it ran but there's nothing you can do about that blue does run there's nothing you can do about that red runs but anyway let me know what you think in the comment section below let me know what your favorite pop was and we will see you guys next time bye